bless America for this kind of wackadoodle things, right? So this is neat, but it smells like paint. <laughs> like, because this is an art installation where anybody can add more paint, which is really cool and neat to have this kind of collective art. But there's all kinds of people here, both an artist kind of looking guy who's making something specific as well as kids who are painting stuff. So it just smells like paint. Not the thing for me. However, here's a cool thing to stop by. It's right off the highway on 40, right? Um, as I'm coming east, it's right before Amarillo. So not difficult to find or to get to. I love this kind of randomness. I, I, I'm a big, one of my favorite things is random art installations and in, that are in the middle of like, this isn't kind of a farmland area. There's ones that are in the middle of the desert, ones that are in a forest, we walk on a trail. Love that kind of art installation sculpture. So verdict on the Amarillo Planet Fitness, it had hot water, that was great. The water pressure was inadequate, very difficult to get soap off. And the showers were affirmatively dirty. And when I say dirty, I mean, I could literally see dirt, sc scum, soap scum on the walls and on the shower curtains. I actually haven't had that in other Planet Fitness yet. That means that like they aren't even trying, you know? They aren't even trying. Like at the Planet Fitness I usually go to when I'm in town in the San Francisco Bay area, I've seen them in there cleaning it. And they have this like power washer thing that they clean the bathrooms, the showers with. And, and also they change out the shower curtains regularly. Here, I mean, it was it was gross. And yeah, I mean, I don't, I, I literally didn't touch any of it. You know, I touched only the very top of the shower curtain. I didn't touch the wall, I mean, you know. But I was like, I think it's, I have a very low standard for cleanliness. <laughs> like I am not a big clean person, but damn, like if I can see it in a public shower, yikes, right? Yikes. But anyway, all right, so I am, gonna grab myself a snack and then I'm I have a 30 minute drive to a state park that I'm gonna go to that I think will be nice place for me to make lunch and you know I'll drive around and see it or whatever I'm not planning to do anything big because I have like a four-hour drive after that so um and you know the idea is then I would need to leave there mid-afternoon so I don't have to do my, my watch is dirty. Um, I may need to leave there mid-afternoon so I don't have to drive a lot in the dark or at all in the dark. And I can arrive at the next place in the sun. Um, I could go less far, but then I have to go more far the next day, you know. So we'll see. There's, there's two places in Oklahoma, the next state for me, that I can sleep at. After that, I'll be on the turnpike. And those aren't rest stops. They're, you know, convenience, comfort. I don't know. They're, on the turnpike, those aren't like traditional rest stops where you can sleep. Those are places just to get gas or whatever. So I can't sleep there. I don't know. I'm definitely not going all the way to Missouri tonight. So that is that is the plan. I'm going to get a snack and I'll see you in a bit. This is impressive. They were all like, this is the second largest in the United States. I'm like, really? Maybe. So I am down in the canyon. You actually get to drive down the canyon, which is actually fairly unusual. Generally speaking, when I've gone to various canyon type places, either you're at the very, very top, which is like what most of them are, like the Grand Canyon, for example, or, and you can hike down, or you're down in it and then you can hike up like Zion. But to start out on top and drive down, that actually is a really neat thing. And it provides a lot of accessibility for people who can't do that kind of a hike. So that's one thing I think this is a really neat park for this. And the name of this is, let me go find it, Palo Duro Canyon State Park in Texas. It's only about 30 minutes south of Amarillo, Amarillo so very, very easy to get to, which is probably one of the reasons it's so popular. Now, it is April. 
early April, and it is 11.42 in the morning, and it is 81 degrees here already. I mean, I was in snow two days ago. I was sleeping two nights ago. It was like in the 20s when I slept, and now here I'm in the 80s. So the 80s to me, normally, when it's in the middle of summer, 80s is a nice, lovely day. I haven't been in it, so now it's hot. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, oh my gosh. I'm really glad I took a shower though. My hair is actually still just slightly wet, which is very helpful. All right. I parked my car and pulled back in so I could put up my window shades on this side where the sun is blasting in. And then I can use this side to cook food. I, I mean, it's so warm. I would rather eat cold food in a way, but I actually don't have that much cold stuff. So, I mean, I can have snacks and stuff like that and I can make a sandwich, but yeah, I have eggs. I want to cook these things up. The thing is my veggies and eggs and stuff won't last that long. All right. I'm going to go ahead and make some lovely lunch. I don't know what I'm going to make yet. I'll think about that and enjoy this 80 something degrees. Oh, and the other thing I need to do is put on sunscreen. Growing up in the Midwest, I'm very afraid of a bee flying into my drink. I mean, this is sparkling water, but I don't know. Bees are kind of stupid. Maybe they would just come in here. So I'm going to put my phone on top of this. When I got here, there was been people here, but now it's not. So one of the things that sucks about being here at this time of year is a lot of the trees don't have leaves yet. So they don't, they're not providing shade. And there are a few evergreen trees, but not that many. I mean, right now it's noon there wouldn't be that much shade to be had anyway but but man much i didn't really factor in 80 degrees um because it's just i'm not prepared for it in the sense of like my body is not acclimated during the summer i'm fine 80 degrees is nice and i can it's totally good for hiking and all that stuff it was my first day in 80 degrees in six months so this a lot. <clears throat> they have water bottle filling stations, but there's no water. So um, I guess that the dry season, I don't know. I don't understand. I don't like know how this area works. So there's a bumper of easy trails. And I originally was like, oh, I'll walk on some 102 of them. But there's no shade. You can see the trees haven't put out leaves yet. And, you know, it's 1230 in the afternoon and high sun and I'm like is this just taking it out of me so I don't think that works um I have I said I have like a four four and a half hour drive to where I plan to stay the rest of I plan to stay at in Oklahoma and I have I have school work to do that's due today and then um I want to answer emails at least for my work. I don't think there's anything that else that has to be done. There's that one filing that I'm going to see if the trademark office's site is back up because that, that one would take me very long. Normally I would just find somewhere to park that's in the shade but I'm like there isn't really shade. There are some evergreen trees but they're there's I mean it's noon right now right nothing's throwing shade. It will cool off in the evening but that's a while away isn't it? And I don't know where I'm going if I will have internet. I, I'm actually going to stop right now. I'm going to actually look. I have connection right here. I would work here if it wasn't 80 degrees. It's just too hot and stuffy. But I think if, if I could park in the shade, it would be lovely. I would totally do that. But I'm going to look. I'm, I'll, when I drive around, I'll see if there's anywhere that's in the shade that I could park in. I haven't seen anywhere yet. Um, the trees just aren't big trees, so they're not throwing shade on anything at noon. But um, otherwise, and I'll just start driving, but I need to see if there's going to be connection at the places I plan to go. And maybe I overland or will say that. It is kind of weird compared to my prior life. Being on a road trip isn't vacation time. I'm still working. And I do obviously have days where I just completely take the day off. But like, generally speaking, I integrate things. And I generally like that. But it does mean that if I'm going on a long trip like this, where I need to put in hours of driving every day to relocate to a new state every single day, or in this case, I'm going to be relocating two states in a single day, I don't have a lot of time to both do all the driving 
and do any kind of life maintenance I need to do. Like today I went to Planet Fitness and take a shower or if I need to go grocery shopping or, you know, any of that kind of stuff and do work and also do the things that I want to do, the hiking or whatever. Hiking, I think I'll do a lot more hiking when I'm traveling slower. This kind of relocating to a different part of the country, I, sh I don't have time to do it at the times of the day where it's good to hike. Like noon is a terrible time to go hiking. <laughs> Nor in a place like this where it's gonna be 81 degrees in the day, I would go hiking at like six in the morning at sunrise. I don't know when sunrise was here, seven in the morning, you know, whatever. Um, so yeah, that, that would be a good time to go hiking here is at the beginning of the day or the end of the day, but I'm not gonna be here then, I'm here at noon. visitor center it's welcome center or something for texas they have a gazillion like little maps and guys and stuff like that which i didn't take any but they, you know and then they have a bathroom and, and such they both have a regular bathroom that's in the inside and they also have a 24-hour bathroom um so yeah so you can park here and rest i think you can stay here for 24 hours they have free wi-fi which i'm not using i'm using my phone for security purposes but still still it is nice um, no, I do not need to try Gemini Workspace, Google. So anyway, I'm going to be doing a load of emails. I don't really have client work to do exactly. I'm more just have those emails to do. And then I'm going to see if the trademark office lets me file something that needed to be filed a while ago, a couple days ago, but the trademark office, two days ago, yesterday, whatever it was, but the trademark office wasn't working two days ago. Yeah. So... This is actually, even though it's 80 something degrees, I'm faced the right way. So the sun is going on my windshield and I have my thing up here, right? And there's a ton of wind. So I have these two windows open, as you can see, and the wind is blowing. It's actually totally fine. So a good place to work. I realize that where I'm going in Oklahoma, sunset is not until almost 8 p.m. So if I want to arrive around sunset, then I wouldn't, if that's four, I'm four hours away or maybe three hours, I need to check um, that I wouldn't leave here, you know, for a while. It's all, it's not quite two o'clock. So I have a while before I need to leave. So I could sit here and work for a couple hours. Um, where I'm going, that rest up, I have no idea if they have internet. So I can't plan on being able to work once I get there um, or doing schoolwork or any of that kind of stuff. So I need to do some here. I'm gonna spend the night in a Walmart. Oklahoma does not have very many rest stops. So, so Walmart parking lot it is. So I have my car parked out far away. Now I'm walking in, it's about quarter to nine. I have a couple things to buy, I need some lactate. I'm gonna buy a, something to eat tomorrow. I want a nice salad to eat tomorrow. And cause it's, it's kind of warm and it's hard for me to cook. I have tons of food to cook but it's hard for me to cook. Normally, once it's summer, I have no problem cooking food when it's warm, but I'm not used to it yet. So that is the idea. There was someone in the shower on speakerphone the whole entire time. <laughs> like, <sighs> that's a choice. That's a whole conversation, all the states she went to it, all the stuff. I feel migrating today and I was hoping that taking a shower and stuff was going to fix it, but it is not the day where that's going to work. Long John Silver's here. Okay. I'm distracted by Midwestern fast food. <sighs> One of the things that I want, there's two things I want to eat on this trip when I'm in, in Missouri. One is White Castle, which I haven't had for like probably decades, at least, dec at least a decade. And the other thing is I want to get St. Louis pizza. 
like an Emos type pizza. It's like a super thin crust. You can't really get it anywhere else except for the vicinity of St. Louis. And a lot of pizza people hate it. My significant other hates it, <laughs> but I do like it. All right, so I'm gonna take some a trip down and then I think I'm gonna go and get some McDonald's for breakfast because I'm gonna need to just like stop and eat it and not go anywhere for a while. While I do that, I may um, see if I can get some work done. See, I'll see what my brain is capable of doing. Sometimes I can do certain things like emails or some certain kinds of schoolwork, even with a migraine. I mean, if I couldn't, then there won't be anything done. All right.